pressure starts to mount even more as both Sony and Microsoft speaks out against Activision Blizzard. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So today we have one thing to get into and that is the ongoing saga with Activision Blizzard. I'm sure by this point most people know exactly what is going on with all of these allegations that has been made. Over the last few months a bunch of serious allegations have come to light about the workplace culture of Activision Blizzard and as you can imagine pressure is starting to mount. Not only are they facing backlash from the public and within the company itself with massive walkouts being staged but we are also now starting to see other developers and publishers speaking out including Sony and Xbox. In a statement Sony boss Jim Ryan said we outreached to Activision immediately after the article was published to express our deepest concern and to ask how they plan to address the claims made in the article. We do not believe their statement of response properly addressed the situation. Now as of right now now it is still unclear if Sony themselves will be taking any action but when it comes to Blizzard I do not believe they really have too many games on the Sony platform so I'm not sure how big of an impact they really will be. With that said Xbox themselves also came out as per The Verge following a bombshell Wall Street Journal report that Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick allegedly knew withheld and even participated in harassment and abusive behavior the company's big console partners Sony and Microsoft are semi-privately expressing their distress. Bloomberg is now reporting that Microsoft boss Phil Spencer has now told staff that he was disturbed and deeply troubled by the horrific events and actions at Activision Blizzard and that Microsoft is evaluating all aspects of our relationship with Activision Blizzard and making ongoing proactive adjustments as a result. The Bloomberg report is accurate, a Microsoft spokesperson told The Verge. Microsoft also shared a generic completely unrelated statement about how Microsoft wants a welcoming and inclusive environment for all employees at Xbox. Now it is also worth pointing out that it is not just Blizzard but also Activision who is in the hot seat as they are the parent company and that is where most of the pressure can be applied. Now Activision themselves did make a statement on all of this saying we respect all feedback from our valued partners and are engaging with them further. We have detailed important changes we have implemented in recent weeks and we will continue to do so. We are committed to the work of ensuring our culture and workplace are safe, diverse and inclusive. We know that it will take time but we will not stop until the best workplace for our team. Now right now the pressure is starting to mount on Blizzard but all also on Bobby Kotick. As of right now the board at Blizzard has decided to support Kotick but I have to imagine as the pressure starts to mount even more that will very quickly start to change. At the end of the day loyalty only lasts as long as the money is there. When stocks goes down that support will very quickly fade. Realistically speaking I do not see Kotick surviving until the end of the year. We have already seen shareholders called for his resignation and I think that call will be answered by Activision. There is no real reason to keep him on as it will come with a massive cost so the sooner they cut ties the better it will be for everyone. But on that note this is where I'm going to end it. So if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face and I hope to see you again soon.